Ah yes, Titanfall 2. Not only is it a really good campaign, it's also a very well optimized game. And we're going to see if that optimization does get extended as far down as to something as weak as a Radeon 7750, well below Titanfall 2's published requirements for graphics processing. Now my particular model is a factory overclocked version that runs at 880 MHz, putting it just at 900 gigaflops of graphics compute, and it has 1 GB of GDDR5 memory. Unfortunately, it's that 1 GB of GDDR uh, memory that might be the reason why, if you've noticed already, all we're seeing are low settings textures. We'll come back to that in just a moment. As it stands, we're running the game at 1080p all the way through that intro sequence you just saw, and currently, we're running mostly a mixture of low and some medium settings with two times anisotropic filtering, uh, but what you see is low textures absolutely. Even though I tried to enable medium textures in the game settings menu, as far as I can tell, the game does not want to load them in, and I believe that is just due to the fact we don't have enough VRAM to comfortably load and stream in all the textures. I even tried some config file hacks to maybe get the game to forcibly load it. It just did not work, unfortunately. So it's just something we're going to be stuck with, uh, I guess, if you're going to run a 1GB 7750, assuming the VRAM is the issue. As previously mentioned, we are running 1080p with a mixture of mostly medium and low settings. Now, some things like the impact marks and ragdolls, we can run it high. They're not that CPU intensive. This is just an i3-2120, and it runs this game very comfortably. It doesn't really ever get maxed out at all. The 7750 is definitely our bottleneck. Other than that, we get acceptably playable performance. Almost surprisingly, bear in mind all these settings are not equivalent to the console versions of this game, especially the fact that we are running only low textures. If we had a very rare model of 7750 with 2GB of GDDR5 memory, medium and even perhaps high textures might actually be doable. But in combination with 1080p and console-like settings, I certainly don't believe the 7750 would be able to manage that, unfortunately. However, uh, for a rudimentary Titanfall 2 single player campaign experience, the 7750 can do it, especially at 720p as we're seeing here. With such silky smooth performance, I'd almost prefer Titanfall 2 as 720p at such high FPS as opposed to 1080p with just above 30 to 40 FPS sort of as an average. Of course, it's always up to player preference. And in either case, we're going to have a difficult time matching either the PlayStation 4 or even the Xbox One, of which the latter has almost a 50% jump in GFLOPS compute compared to the 7750. I will admit that I did not try the adaptive resolution feature in this game. Uh, it's a feature I really don't care for, simply because one, it's not always completely accurate to the millisecond in terms of keeping our frame rates while lowering the resolution, you know, sort of instantly. And second of all, I hate kind of watching the image blur uh, and then sharpen again, then blur, then sharpen again. It gets kind of annoying really quick, at least for me. So I, pre I prefer just to keep it at a set resolution and just play it that way. And for me, the only really jarring issue with the lower settings is the low texture resolution. As we discussed earlier, I'm not going to really expound on it that much more. Well, actually, I think I will. It, it is a bit fugly seeing the game with uh, lower resolution textures. But I gotta admit, even at low res, they don't look horrible. They're certainly serviceable, and we, we would prefer to have better than that. But beggars can't be choosers. Now I did decide to bump up the graphics some at 720p. Of course, we can't move beyond low textures. But the game still runs fairly well at these uh, the, the mixture of medium and high settings that I chose. And runs still quite smoothly here at 720p. So in conclusion, Radeon 7750 and Titanfall 2 playable? Absolutely. Would you want to do it? Well, if you're stuck with the 7750, not really that much or that big deal of a problem. Now, ideally, would you want to use the 7750? Absolutely not. Go out and get a better video card if you can afford it. If you're stuck with the 7750, I'm sorry, but by all means, go out and play these games that may seem a little hard on the 7750, lower the settings enough, and the games are completely playable.
While yes, you don't get all the eye candy, the game is still fun and a blast to play. And of course, it's always interesting to see such an old graphics card, 7750 is 5 years old mind you, still put out playable performance and still be workable for even some really new games like Titanfall 2 here. Now I don't know how much longer I'm going to have the 7750 in our secondary computer for video capture and whatnot, but I'll probably have it for at least another year or so until it gets possibly replaced. But until then, as long as I'm buying new games, I will probably be testing them with this graphics card as long as it meets the system requirements, whether it's stated or the game actually requires 2 gigabytes of video memory, whatever. I'll still, you know, I'll give it a test drive and see what happens, just for you guys and just for my own interest. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe if you already haven't, and I will see you guys in the next video whenever it drops. You guys have a good one.